when we had back to school, we used to get in pallet loads of dictionaries. Now we could get in six and that would accommodate everybody. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's changed about greetings and readings, an independent family-owned bookstore turned gift shop in Hunt Valley. Nearly five decades after they opened their doors, they've learned the formula to not only survive, but thrive. In the beginning, it was just books, cards, and a few little gifts. And then it completely changed as the environment keeps changing in retail, we keep changing. From kids' toys to made-in-Baltimore chocolates, handbags, name-brand clothing and accessories, President Steve Baum is always looking for the next big item. Back in the day, as book sales declined, they stayed ahead of the competition by selling some things you wouldn't expect to see in a bookstore. By going into computer electronics, it allowed us to get more men and women in rather than just a typical gift store. So the computer electronic, that, if I had to pick my most favorite time, it was, <laughs> it was in the 80s with the electronics. It was a blast. So you were selling TVs. TVs, VCRs, microwaves, computers. Customers never know what could be coming to store shelves. Our fun is being able to change on a dime, and we don't have corporate to deal with. So if we want to get rid of a category and go into something brand new real fast, we can do it. We can change. Despite predictions that online giants will put them out of business. Online is never going to take everything up. It changed the dynamics of it. You know, people who want to just click buy one thing here or there, they can do it. But if you want to go out and you want to have fun, it's shopping is still fun. Browsing around here is a wonderful experience. I do like supporting local businesses, and I still think there's something better um, for sentimental objects to be able to, to put your hands on them before you gift them. The thing about shopping in a store like this is that you can stumble upon things, you know, if you don't really know what you're looking for, for gifts and things. Online, you kind of have to have more of a focus and know what you want in order to find it. And then there are the e-readers. What's happened now, finally, is there stabilization in the book industry. People like the e-reader, people like a physical book. As for what books are most popular... Fiction's hot, um, every, the political, nonfiction, biography, all this, all the same stuff is hot, but what, what it is changed, which is really interesting, is what they buy in paper and what they don't. Cookbooks are out as more people turn to the Internet for recipes. No worry, the family has its own recipe for success, and it begins with good customer service and being adaptable. 